The Gospel according to the first chapter of Mark. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent, believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This is the gospel of our Lord. He says, the time is fulfilled, believe in the good news, come and follow. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O God, my Lord, my rock, and my Redeemer. Amen. So what would prompt you to just give up everything you know, everything you have, everyone you love, to give up the comfort of the ordinary and the safe for something that is entirely different, something entirely out of the box. What if it was a former carpenter and an itinerant preacher? Someone who talked of a kingdom that is to come, that the kingdom of God is about to be here. For all who would follow his name, what would you do? It's the story of our gospel according to Mark. Jesus began his call process, if you will. The Baptist has been arrested. Jesus arrives in a town called Galilee along the sea, on the shoreline and the beach. And he walks, and he comes up to first to Simon and Andrew and said, come and follow me, and they do. He walks. More importantly, he invites. There's no waiting for Jesus. He's not waiting for people to come to him. He is going to them. John and James are next. Come, follow me. And on the drop of a dime, they do just that, leaving their father alone. God has extended an invitation. The time is fulfilled. Believe in the good news of Jesus Christ. Follow me and become fishers of people. I love that phrase, fishers of people. See, today's gospel is more than a request to follow. It's about God's invitation to you and to me and to the four that were on the beach that day, and the others that would soon follow. Yet from our perspective, we treat it like any other invitation. We wonder, is it an obligation, something that we have to do to follow Jesus? God's invitation about how we feel, how we look at what Jesus' words are to you and to me. What do we do? Do we follow? Or do we choose to march to our own drums? 
It is an invitation from God. It is the words of Jesus Christ, come and follow me. Come and believe in the good news. Come and fish for people. Each and every day we choose other things over what Jesus has asked us to do. We always want more, it seems, not less. We know the world in which we live, and we try, we try very, very hard. But somehow, as a society, the focus always shifts back to me, me, me. We pray fervently for one another. We pray for the sick and the needy. We pray for justice and peace. We struggle to make the hard choices that we know we have to make because God loves us, because Jesus has called us. We hear the words of this morning's gospel. We hear them all the time. God's invitation, come and follow. And yet, within ourselves, it causes a struggle, a debate, if you will. What do we do? And there are times when our faith, our faith takes the back seat to what the world is offering us. And despite all this, despite what we do, despite what we say, Jesus is always there. Jesus is whispering in our ears, follow me, follow, follow, and believe, for I am the good news. I guess... There are those times we just look at things and we have to do it. I can remember as a kid when it was time to go to church and I'd be fighting with my mother and it was just time, it was something we had to do. We had to do it. And I used to think God will understand. I mean, come on, he's God. He will understand how I feel. But the truth of the matter is that he doesn't. He's like any other parent. He'll acquiesce to what we want, but he doesn't understand. But it doesn't stop there, does it? God keeps sending that invitation. He keeps sending Jesus Christ to us. We may not know it. We may not see it. But Jesus is persistent. Jesus is very, very stubborn. I kind of look at Jesus being in our face all the time. Follow me. Listen. I'm going to whisper again. I'm going to talk with you again. See, they, God and Jesus want us to be the person we are created to be. So when we go to him in prayer and we say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. The words will resonate in our minds over and over. Follow, follow, follow. The time is fulfilled. Believe in what I'm saying. Believe in me. Personally, I just wish it was just one follow. It would be easier to say yes. Then Jesus would smile, say, thank you very much, Neil. You've done it. You're, you're good. You're good to go. Everything's all right. I wouldn't be asked to do anything more because I've already said yes once. Right? I mean, after all, I'm wearing a collar. What more does Jesus want from me? But then I listen. And I hear him whispering again, as he has over the years. He's never lost faith in me. He's always there when I need him. No matter how much I failed, no matter how much I did not do, what I knew I should have done. Jesus remains with me. God is still giving me that same invitation. Come and follow. Come and believe. This is the message behind our gospel this morning. No matter how much you fail to heed the call, no matter how much you have said no when you should have said yes, no matter how many times you wanted to follow but you simply did not, God is there. We can disappoint 
our Creator. We can cause Him great sadness as we do. We are sinful, broken human beings, beloved children of God, sisters and brothers of Christ. God will be there no matter what. Jesus will always be there no matter what. Whispering, follow, follow, follow me. I ask you again, what would prompt you to leave everything you know, to leave everybody you love, the comfort of your safety and ordinary for something entirely different, something out of the box? You don't have to pick up and move. You just have to answer the call that Jesus puts forth. Jesus is whispering in your ear, Come, follow me, for I will make you fishers of people. I love that phrase. The invitation, sisters and brothers, has been sent. The promise is real, and the truth is forever in front of us, what we preach each and every week from this pulpit and from out there, that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Amen.